Hello, Bob Hall here with Wholesome Farm, making another sustainable farming video. Today I just want to show the aquaponics system. And in my system, it's one system, but I've got two greenhouses. And I did that because this greenhouse has got the uh, gravel beds in it for growing fruiting plants. And this greenhouse has got the uh, raft beds for growing lettuce. That's what I designed it for. And commercially, you can't grow fruiting plants with lettuce because as the fruit ripens, it ruins the lettuce, puts brown spots on it. They call it russet spots. So I separated the greenhouses, even though it's one system. And let me show you how it works. Okay, so the whole thing starts with the fish in the fish tank. In this case, we built a fish tank using plywood. It's just four foot deep and we put it we buried it into the ground. That way our fish tank is the lowest part of the whole system. That way we only need one pump and we pump up and the, and the gravel bed greenhouse is higher and the water fills up in those gravel beds, comes down, trickles down through gravity into the raft beds, which we'll show you here in a minute, and that trickles back uh, to the fish tank in a pure clean water. So the way this works is we have this uh, pump in the middle of the fish tank and it runs for five minutes and then it'll shut off for 30 seconds and we have it on a timer. And then when it comes back on for the next five minute cycle, we have this four way valve here. And you, I don't know if you saw it shake, but it just came on. And um, that surge of water will automatically flip the valve mechanically to the next location. So up in the upper greenhouse, you get water on one side for five minutes and water on the other side for five minutes, it goes back and forth. And that way we kind of get an even flow of, of water. So let's go up and look at the gravel beds. Okay, here's the uh, upper greenhouse and these are just beds of gravel. And um, water, uh, like I said, we'll run for five minutes on one side, then it switches to the other, and there's four zones here. And right now, we're just growing lettuce in this greenhouse. That uh, turns out to be a much better cash crop. So what we do is we just cut it, it'll grow back, and uh, we just keep it cycling that way. And um, we package it, and then that way it's ready to eat. But these are the gravel beds. The water uh, comes in here, and we've got... Uh, 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 overflow pipe. It's got two holes, two uh, quarter inch holes drilled at the very base. So when it fills up, the water will come down uh, and just slow trickle drain back into the uh, raft system. So that's how uh, we bring water up here and then gravity will bring it to the raft system. And uh, we'll show you that. Okay. So here's the lower greenhouse. This is the raft beds. You see the foam floats right on here. And uh, I'll raise that and you see all the roots and how they just sit there and float on the water. Here's another thing I wanted to show you. A couple days ago, I, I cut, I just took this lettuce like this, wrapped it up and I just cut it at the base. And look at this, after only a couple days, it's growing back already. So this head lettuce, I can cut it and put it in the mix that I've got growing in the other greenhouse. And so that's the plan, just to continue to cut these heads. I've got some back here I've been doing experiments with. And these lettuces here, this is the third cutting and they're growing back. So I don't know how many cuttings I'll get out of them, but uh, you know, that's pretty good if you can get two or three cuttings out of a head of lettuce. It takes about six weeks for a head of lettuce in the raft system. From the time you put the seed in to the time it's ready to harvest, it takes about six weeks. But I notice when you cut the heads off and you leave about an inch, the growth back takes maybe uh, anywhere from eight to ten days and it's ready to cut again. So you're saving yourself basically four weeks of growth. And um, now it looks like I'm getting uh, growth here too, but it's not as much as I did on the second 
cutting. So it looks like probably after about the third cutting, I'll have to start replacing. But if I can get a rotation going, uh, I should be able to keep a bunch of lettuce and really cut down my, my growth time. Anyway, the water comes through, goes through the roots, it gets cleaned, and uh, it returns back to the fish. It's making a perfect ecosystem. So that's how this aquaponics system works. Hopefully you found this helpful. The nice thing about aquaponics is you can scale it. You can make it as large or small as you need to. So, uh, and, and like I've said in other videos, there's two real powers to aquaponics. One is to grow leafy greens, and that's why I've changed everything to growing lettuce and kale and aramith and uh, I've got some beet greens growing, any, anything like that, uh, I, that's what I'm growing to and making my lettuce mix. The other thing that's really powerful in aquaponics is sprouting. And I don't know if you probably saw in the video, it looked like there's weeds. There is weeds in there, but there's also a lot of tomato plants and pepper plants and stuff growing. I've got along the, the, the walls. And those, uh, I sprouted in the greenhouse from the uh, damage that was done back in January when we had a real cold snap and the heater failed. I sprouted all those seeds. I've got a video, I'll put the link up here to it if you want to see it. Uh, and all those seeds sprouted, now we're planting them out in the food forest. And I've got videos of that too. Uh, I'll put the link also up here. But uh, the real power in aquaponics is to being able to sprout things so you can transplant them and grow in leafy greens. If you have any other intentions in aquaponics other than that, you might want to consider food forest or wicking beds or some other form of growing that's not anywhere near as expensive as aquaponics. But if those are the two things you're looking for, aquaponics is the way to go. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, please like us and share our videos. We appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.